Oh, this is Tom Cloud with my bi-monthly precious metals market update. I'm going to veer off a little bit because I think it's almost like a public service statement what I'm going to tell you about, and that is the hacking of bank accounts and how strong they're growing. And if you want to stop right now, go to Google and put in your bank's name and say something like uh, Bank of America uh, complaints, Bank of America, whatever. Uh, it could be any, any major bank. It's not just Bank of America, any, any bank. So put it in there, and what you're going to find out is I had to find out the hard way is we had our corporate account hacked. And uh, it's seven weeks later, uh, five weeks later, excuse me, five weeks later, and everything is still not back to normal. So what you have to do is, I've learned a lot along the way, and we'll share it with you because I, I don't want anybody to go through what I had to go through. It's, it's been awful. But what I would suggest to you is a thing when you do have personal bank accounts, you have FDIC insurance. If the bank goes under, up to two hundred fifty thousand. But what you need to be asking is, is there are banks that are not covered by the FDIC and other uh, banks that you could lose uh, as they don't, don't have to cover, that'd be based on coverage. And anyway, the FDIC supposedly has less than 5% assets than the amount they have insured. But personal accounts, you kind of got some protection there. If you keep below 250000 in your personal account, uh, there's be very few issues that can happen. But if you're all in a corporation, uh, it's a totally different animal. You had better know exactly, exactly what if somebody hacks and moves money out of your, through wires out of your account, and you have no recourse, you need to be asking your bank what would happen if that happened. Because that's what happened to me. I had a lot of money hacked out of my um, account and wired from my account to another account. And they actually did four hacks, but my bank stopped three of them. But one got through, and we're still trying to get that settled. But here's what you need to know. You need to go and find out if you've got a small business, corporation, you need to find out point blank and get your bank to tell you exactly if you do get hacked by a wire, what liability you would have, what guarantee would you have, what insurance would you have. They're going to tell you some you need to buy private insurance to, to cover that, and I didn't have it. I wish I had. I still feel strongly that I'll get the money back or at least most of it, but certainly there's no guarantees at this point. So what you want to do is go to your bank, say, what happens if I my, gets money wired out of my account, somebody else, what liability do I have? And what, what do you have? And if they tell you, you've got to have your private insurance or your corporate insurance on that, you need to get in line and get it. And you need to uh, know that before it gets in there because, as I said, you can spend the rest of the day going in to Google and putting a bank's name and lawsuits, hacks, everything. There's hundreds, hundreds of them. And I know three, me and another dealer and a client that have been hacked and all three of us are yet to get settled back where we got back everything that was taken out of the account. You also want to get on it very quickly. You want to file an FBI report. You want to file a local report where your bank is. All this stacks up information in case you need it. But it came as a shock to me that I had a business 47 years and never knew that I had to have insurance on wires and things covered or if the mistake came, and even if the bank made the mistake, they could still get out of paying you. 
So anyway, um, I hope this has been a public service statement to you and everybody else. I mentioned last uh, week, couple, two or three weeks ago, about storage. We have the lowest storage fees in the world, in the world. There's not another company to, in a COMEX warehouse that has their clients lined up. So we've got a lot of small companies that are now using their, that as their insurance against getting hacked because they can ha have it there within three days and have it in their account by saying the papers. Yeah, and it's going to cost you. You got to buy the gold to put in there. And you got to, um, when you sell it, there's very little fee, but it's going to cost you a couple percent. But just think of the insurance you got. You don't have to worry about how much you got in the bank or how much over 250 you got. You have it in there, and it's fantastic. And that's where I put uh, my working capital for the companies. And when I need it, I can have it back in two or three days by just filling the form out and, and emailing it. And we'll, we fill the sheet out for you. So that number two is we've got now where we've got an opening because our major uh, person that does our uh, storage is now double the size of their storage facility and they've opened it up. And my clients can, if you don't, if you got somewhere else, but we can get it below a half, one half of 1% or Good bit below 50 basis points. But we've talked in the last week to people that are paying 1% and other people that are paying 0.75. That's like five, four and five times what you'd have with us. Plus, we've got the top facility in the world and you're paying the lowest rate on that. So just think if a guy's got, let's just say a million dollars, you can go back, do it on 100,000, do a million dollars. And you're talking about uh, seventy five hundred a year at seventy five basis points. We cut that down seventy percent. Uh, then we've got it way below what you've got, and it can be liquid, instant liquid, when you do need it. But that's the way I'm doing it, and quite a few of our clients are doing it. Is they're moving that excess money, setting up an account at IDS. Uh, Texas, a lot of you have a account at IDS Delaware. Uh, you can add to that, but you can't. The, the new deal is in the new facilities, owned by the same people. But the new facility, we went out, Dan and I uh, flew out to Dallas to look at it last week. Blown away, absolutely blown away at the facilities that it has. So if you need to talk about any of this with Dan or I, you can reach us at 800-247-2812. That's 800-247-2812. But do your homework on your uh, bank insurance. You know, be sure you understand the risk that you've got. Go to Google, find out things that have happened to people that have been hacked both by their accounts and wired money out and by their checks, which is not near as big. It's not, the amounts are not near as big, but there's still hacking protection on your own personal accounts. But you got to remember people, we're moving into uh, nothing but uh, fiat currency. Nothing, there is no real money except gold. Recognized in all 28 world markets, gold. Been around since the second book, second chapter of Genesis. And it'll be around when the Lord calls us home. It, 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 it'll be around in the book of Revelation. But it's, it is money. It is real. It is something that is not manipulated. It's not something that's created out of thin air. And more and more paper money, more and more debt, fiat currency, money by the creed. That is the major problem coming. So here we go into the time of year that we always, not always, most of the time get our biggest returns are in the month of September and October. That's been my, in business, 47 years doing this. But certainly that's not every year. 
But now is the time to be buying gold. It's down below. It's about $78 below uh, 2000 an ounce, which is a great time to be buying it. And certainly silver is a great buy at this period too. And I'll close by saying the ones of you that got in on our uh, one ounce Silver Eagles deal at four ninety, when everybody else is selling at ten dollars premium above. We've got some more. They're a little bit higher, about sixty, seventy cents higher, but you still half premium of what anybody else has. So once again, you can call Catherine or Dan or I because we still have several thousand of those left. We can all be reached at eight hundred two four seven. 2812. With this bi monthly precious metals market update, this is Tom Cloud signing out.